we are backstage now at Total Access Live and Melissa Steele is with us. Thank you so much Hi. for chatting to us. How thank are you today? You. I'm good. How are you? I'm very well. Do you know not many people ask that? Really? They're like, yes, I'm very well. That. Thank you. It's lovely <laughs> to have you here. How are you feeling about getting up on stage? I'm really excited. I've just been listening to the crowd, like in my <gasps> dressing room. and They're very responsive. Yeah, I love that though. I love a lively crowd. Yeah, so. I guarantee they're good. I was here last yeah. night. I had to fill in for somebody and get to do something on stage. They're so responsive. So get them to do anything you want. They'll lift your hands up. They'll cheer for you. It's love all, all good. Now, I want to take it back to the start because you're so young. You're only 22 still. You already signed to Atlantic Records. So much to achieve at such a young age. So how did you first get into the industry and achieve so much by 22? Um, I mean, I've been doing this for a very long time. Mm -hmm. um, I first got, ever got in the studio and record a song that I wrote when I was 11. That's so, incredible. Yeah, so I've been doing it for quite a while. And then at the age of 15, I kind of got into doing the YouTube videos when they started getting popular. And, mm -hmm. you know, I just used to do it for fun, but then they started getting a lot of views. So I just made it like a monthly thing. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, I started getting attention from down here. Well, not down here because we're not in London, but in London, I started yeah. getting attention. Um, and then I started traveling down, doing music down there. And my A&R now at Atlantic. Very um, good, yeah. Very good of me and he played me the song Kisses for Breakfast as a demo. We just like he was playing me a lot of songs yeah. and then I picked that one out. And Did said you? I wanted it. Yeah. Why was that? Because I, I like it because it makes me feel like I'm on a beach. That's yeah. the main reason I like it. Um, I think I could. I, I I don't know. I just felt like it was mine. I could just imagine me singing it and I yeah. wanted to see what I sound, sounded like on it. So I was kind of like, don't give it to anyone else, please. No, um, I don't blame <laughs> you. I don't, you make yeah, it sound so single. easy though. Just get it's not easy. easy. Is it that's not? a very long story cut short. No, it's a little, <laughs> little nugget of information. Yeah. What qualities do you have to have though? Like, have you found yourself changing and growing as a person? Like, maybe feeling grown up before your time? Because you, yeah, as I say, I mean, you achieved so much at 22. Yeah, I mean, if you want to be an artist or be in any industry where it's not classed as a normal job, you know, it's yeah. not, it's not easy. You have to be very, very passionate about what you do, and you have to be yeah. determined, and you have to be willing to work hard, and. Yeah. That's it, really. I think. No, it's, that's what makes the product better, though. Doesn't yeah, it? and you just day, you just have to know, better. and you have to know what you're getting yourself into. Like, if you want to be in the music industry, you need to research that because it is a business, and you just need to know. Was what you're there anything yourself in into. the industry once you were in it that surprised you? Perhaps was it maybe more volatile or a bit more cutthroat than um, you really knew before you went into it? I mean, there wasn't a lot that I wasn't expecting. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think you can be naive coming into certain situations. Hmm. Yeah. So it's all around fairly smoothly. Yeah, I just I just think there's there's a lot more planning than I thought behind the scenes. Yeah, so you have a very big team. Yeah, you. You, you never realise until you're actually in the situation. But it's fine. I have an amazing team, so very yeah, you clearly do. It's incredible. And let's talk about the single. You love me, you worked with Retro 2 on this. Yeah. How did this all come about? How did the collaboration come about? And also, did you write the song? Were you involved with the creative process of it as well? Well, um the song was produced by the legendary Rodney Jerkins, which for me is amazing because I grew up listening to the songs oh, yeah, that he lovely. produced and a lot of them inspired me to sing mm -hmm. um, and obviously it features Wretch 3 too. I kind of wanted someone cool in UK on the song just to make it have a bit of that edge yeah. so um, I just asked him to put a verse on there and because I knew he'd, I knew he'd sound amazing on it so mm -hmm. and he actually pulled through and we shot the video in LA Oh, which was nice. amazing. Didn't you shoot the other one in Jamaica? Is yeah. That? Traveling the world at 22, it's all good. <laughs> it's great. I mean, oh. yeah, and it's out on the 11th of, se 11th of September. It's very um, soon then. It was written by Sam Romans, and, you know, I've worked with him a few times, so we was well, there. We're like, playing it well. lots on radio, and everybody yeah. seems to love it so far, so congratulations. Oh, thank you. Now, Thanks. changing subject slightly, a little birdie told me that you, when you get up, you listen to Bob Marley most mornings. Yeah, is that true? Yeah. What a way to wake up in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, like when I wake up, I feel like I need a positive, I need something positive. I was like, say, you must be the happiest person in the world, like, singing mean, three little does, birds along the way. It does, it does actually help. So, really? Yeah, I love, I love to do that. It just sets my mood right for the day. So now we're on the topic. Talk me through your daily routine then. What happens in the life of Melissa Steele? Uh, I mean, every day is different. Yeah. So right now, because the single is about to come out, I'm in campaign. So, you know, some days I'll wake up and do like a phone interview and then I'll maybe go to the studio. I'm in the middle of finishing my album now. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'll be in the studio finishing that. Um, and then I'll maybe, I don't know. A lot of the time it's just studio and then interviews. Time. Um, it's time for yourself to relax. Yeah, I mean, I'm not that busy yet, but I will, mm -hmm. I will be soon. Oh, and can we quickly talk about your tour as well? You've already been on tour with Ariana. That's an incredible accomplishment. How was that? 
that was amazing. Oh, I went with Crushane, and obviously me and him did the single Drunken and Capable. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I was supporting him and Ariana on the UK tour, and that was amazing because that was I the first imagine. time I did an arena. So yeah, yeah, Scared I loved it. All? Um, I mean, you do have a bit of nerves backstage, mm -hmm. but I've always wanted to be on like the Ultra Arena stage, so I was just excited, and I didn't want to come off, so. And for all your fans out there, you've got the album coming out next year. When can they next catch you if they're not at Total Access Live today? Well, um, my single's coming out on the 11th of September. Um, you can catch me on Twitter, which is at Melissa Steele, Instagram, Melissa Steele. Everything's Melissa Steele, and when I'm, whenever I'm doing shows, you can look on there for updates, so. Brilliant, thank yeah. you so much Melissa. Have a fab time on stage. Thank you. <laughs>